Hello, welcome to the division with powers of 10 video. Okay, so let's review a little bit from the last video. What are the powers of 10? Well, the powers of 10 are when we multiply by 10 over and over again. However, these rules also work for when we're going to divide because division is just the opposite of multiplication. Okay, so some example problems I have. 1,000 divided by 10 equals 100. If we take that 100 and divide it by 10, we get 10. If we take 10 and divide it by 10, we get 1. And if we look at this, this looks very much like what we saw with the multiplying with powers of 10, except going in the opposite direction. Things are getting smaller rather than bigger. Where things start to get a little bit different is if we take that 1, and we divide it by 10, well then we get 1 tenth. Which that makes sense because let's say this is one pencil. If you want to divide the pencil by 10, the only thing you can do is start breaking the pencil into 10 pieces. And then each piece will be 1 tenth of a pencil. Well if we take 1 tenth of a pencil and we divide it by 10, well now that little piece broken into 10 more pieces, each one's going to be really tiny and worth one hundredth of a pencil. Now if we could take those really tiny pieces of a pencil, the one hundredths, and divide each one by ten, I don't know how you would chop that, you would need a laser to cut them so small, but then each one of those would be one one thousandth of a pencil. Okay? So even though now our answers are fractions, it makes sense because if you take one whole and you're dividing it in, into parts, well, your answer has to be a fraction, okay? So, some important things to notice with this. Each answer has one less zero than the previous, okay? So when we began, 1,000 divided by 10 was 100. If we divide by 10 again, our answer is 10, and if we divide by 10 again, our answer is one, okay? So we lost a zero each time, okay? Also, the zero moves a single place value to the right, okay? So this time the one starts in the hundreds place. When we divide, it moves a single place value to the right, so now it's in the tens place, and it moves a single place value again, when we divide by ten, to the ones place, okay? And then what's... so that's really the same thing that was happening with the multiplication video, except now we're going backwards, all right? The other important thing to notice here, that's very different from the multiplication video, if the divisor, which remember the divisor is the number we're dividing by, which in this case is going to be 10, every time the divisor was 10, if that number is larger than the dividend, which are these over here, the number being divided, okay, our answer will be a fraction or decimal, okay? So if we had 1, is the dividend and 10 is the divisor, well this divisor is larger than the dividend, 1, so our answer was a fraction or a decimal, which we haven't really learned about decimals yet, but I decided I would just put it in. Okay, so 1 tenth as a fraction, 1 tenth as a decimal. So if the divisor, for example 10, is larger than the dividend, okay, for example 1, our answer will be a fraction or decimal. For example, one-tenth or one-tenth as a decimal, okay? All right, so to illustrate this and see really what happens when we divide by 10 over and over and over again, we're going to use the Powers of 10 movie by Charles and Ray Eames again, but this time, rather than zooming out like we did with the multiplication video, we are going to zoom in, okay? So, once again, we're starting with a one meter by one meter view of a man laying on a blanket. We're going to divide the one meter by ten. So we take that meter and break it into ten pieces. Well, we get one tenth of a meter, okay? And we can see just the man's hand. We take the one tenth of a meter and divide by ten. Well, now we're down to one hundredth of a meter. We just see some of the texture of the man's skin. If we divide the one hundredth of a meter and divide that by ten, we get one thousandth of a meter. We're starting to see some of the skin cells there, okay? If we take one thousandth of a meter and divide that by ten, well, we're down to one ten thousandth of a meter. And we're almost ready to enter the man's hand, okay? 
we take one ten thousandth of a meter, divide that by ten, we get one hundred thousandth of a meter. And we're now so zoomed in, so close, that we can see a white blood cell all by itself, okay? If we take one one hundred thousandth of a meter and divide that by ten, then we get one millionth of a meter, okay? And we just see a bit of the membrane or the cell wall, of that white blood cell. If we take one millionth of a meter and divide it by 10, we get one ten millionth of a meter. And we just see some of the DNA, the, that, the genetic code that makes you, you, and me, me. We can start to see that floating around in the, in the cell. If we take one ten, one, I'm sorry, one ten millionth of a meter, divide that by 10, we get one one hundredth millionth of a meter and we can see the DNA up close. If we take one one hundred millionth of a meter and divide that by 10, then we zoom all the way in to one billionth of a meter and we can start to see the atoms that make everything in the universe, okay? So just by dividing a couple times, or dividing by 10 a couple times, we went from seeing a man on a blanket all the way down to the atoms that make that man. Just by dividing by 10 a couple times, okay? So when we divide by 10 repeatedly, our, va our values decrease very rapidly, okay? So in the next video, we're gonna see some tricks on dividing by 10, but I decided this time to separate it into two videos, okay?